What up? Welcome back. Today's gonna be awesome. Uh, so a few months back I made a budget Fortnite build and this is a pretty fun video to make and a lot of people enjoyed it. But I had a lot of people asking, how does this run in performance mode in Fortnite? And if you're not aware of what that is, it's just a new mode that uh, Epic Games released in Fortnite that allows for uh, lower end hardware to be utilized better and have better performance in Fortnite. So today I'm going to test three different graphics cards. So first the integrated graphics uh, on a second gen Intel Core i5 CPU. So that's just what came with the Dell Optiplex that we're going to be using as kind of like the test bench. And then after that we're going to go ahead and add a GT710 to the system. See if that's better, worse. I, I know it's not a great graphics card uh, but I recently got one and I wanted to test it and, and mess around with it. And then lastly, I also wanted to test a GTX 1060. So I have the three gig variant, so it's not as powerful as that six gig variant, but uh, hopefully it will give you a good reference point for how that other computer would have ran. And hopefully it will help you to see if maybe utilizing performance mode for you will be something that can benefit your gameplay and also just help you have a better experience and more smooth experience when you're playing with friends. Like I mentioned before, the test system I will be using is a Dell Optiplex 3010. The CPU in it is an i5-3470, and the system has 8GB of RAM. Both the OS and Fortnite will be running on a PNY CS2000 SSD. Okay, so let's go ahead and check it out and see what kind of benefit Performance Mode will give us in Fortnite. Starting off the benchmarks, we have the Intel integrated graphics specifically the Intel HD 2500 graphics. For the settings, I started at 1080p low with 100% resolution scaling as a baseline, and with performance mode off, it was terrible. Even with the time in the menus included in the average, Fortnite only ran at about 6 FPS, but in game it's at closer to 4 FPS for the most part. I did find a llama though! I then lowered the resolution to 720p and it was still unplayable, but the average sat closer to 7 to 8 FPS. I decided to try to lower the scaling resolution down to 50% of 720p, so the equivalent about 360p, and finally saw an average frame rate above 10 FPS. Still unplayable by my standards, but it was easy to walk around now. I finally lowered the scaling resolution down to the lowest it could go, which was 37% or 266p, and by the end of the game, I saw an average of 14 FPS. So in the end, even with the lowest possible settings and performance mode off, the integrated graphics of the Intel Core i5-3570 really struggled to run Fortnite in any playable way. Now it's time to test the performance mode for the integrated graphics. Once again, running at 1080p low settings, but this time with performance mode on, the average sat at about 10 FPS. Still terrible? but about 100% performance increase compared to not using performance mode. I then turned down the settings to 720p and saw an average that sat around 14 FPS. Once again, not playable, but still a definite improvement compared to not using performance mode. Just like before, I then set the scaling resolution to 50% of 720p, so at around 360p I got an average that sat in the high 20s. Compared to earlier, it started to feel slightly more playable. Then, setting the scaling resolution down as low as possible and making the game look worse than a PS1 game, the average sat at about 30 FPS, which is a lot more playable than with performance mode off once again. By simply just turning on performance mode, the average FPS pretty much doubled in each scenario. So now you might be thinking, great, now all I need to do is buy a Dell Optiplex 3010, Turn on performance mode, lower all the settings, and I'm golden. But that's not really the full picture. Even with performance mode on, there's a lot of screen tearing, terrible artifacting, and the game will stutter a fair bit. Next we will be testing the NVIDIA GT710. This is a GPU that's not really meant for gaming, but I got one cheap from a friend and was curious how well it could run games like Fortnite. Once again, I started this test with the settings set to 1080p low and performance mode off. The average sat at about 12 FPS, so unfortunately not playable at 1080p. 
dropping the resolution down to 720p with low settings again and performance mode still off, I was really hoping that it would run at at least 30 FPS, but the average came in at about 22 FPS. Like before, I dropped the resolution scaling down to 50% of 720p, and the FPS jumped up a ton. This was the first time that the game felt playable to me. But it also looks like you're playing an N64 game, which is not great, but the average sat at about 51 FPS, which is a huge difference compared to 22 FPS. Now getting on to the exciting part. I turned on performance mode to test the GT710. At 1080p low settings, I finally saw some relatively playable frame rates at 1080p. By the end of the game, the average was 28 FPS. Still a little lower than I would personally like, but it's more than double what I got with performance mode off. Moving on to 720p with low settings and performance mode on, I was pleasantly surprised. Fortnite averaged almost 60 FPS. I think if this were the GPU I had, I would probably be using settings similar to these. Then to keep things consistent, I lowered the scaling resolution down to 50% like the previous test. The average frame rate at the end of the game was over 100 FPS. But once again, the game at this resolution looks like garbage and it's not always easy to see the enemies. Moving on to the last graphics card I will be testing, we have the GTX 1060 3 gig variant. This card is more powerful than the GTX 1050 Ti that we used in the previous Fortnite budget build, but the CPU is a bit of a bottleneck in that build, so I'm assuming the performance will be somewhat similar. For this test, I'm only going to be testing the GPU at 1080p on low settings, there's no need to go lower than this if you're using similar hardware, in my opinion. At 1080p low settings with performance mode off, I got an average that sat above 130 FPS. No big surprise, and pretty similar to the budget Fortnite build I did earlier. Still running at 1080p low settings, I turned on performance mode. Part of me is expecting the CPU to still hold back the GPU a decent amount, but to my surprise I found that there was a decent FPS difference when performance mode was turned on. The average frame rate ended up being about 208 FPS, which is pretty mind-blowing if you ask me, just because at this point you're getting into some pretty competitive frame rates. I will note though that the 1% lows were a lot lower than I expected, and I'm not really sure why. I'm sure with updates or tweaking the settings this could be improved though. It's pretty cool to see how optimization can affect performance, especially on the low-end hardware. If you're playing on a PC with specs similar to what we explored in this video, I would definitely suggest trying out performance mode for yourself. Oh, and about the giveaway? Look for details coming soon. I'm still working on figuring things out. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down in the comments below. And if you made it this far in the video and you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and like this video. It helps me out a lot. Thanks so much.